But uh, I did think this was interesting. There is an, an artist that is showing us now what uh, Mattel's Barbie doll might look like if it were fashioned after an average woman. And uh, we can bring that picture up because I think it's very interesting to scroll down and you'll get the full photo. So that's Here what she looks like. Yeah, scroll down more. Want her to look like. There you go. That photo, so the one on... Let's the, enlarge that. The one on the uh, left of your screen is obviously the Barbie, and the one on the right is an average woman. Now, I think she looks fantastic. She looks more athletic. She's shorter. She's much more realistic, I think. I agree. What do you think, Susie? Yeah. So the question is, why doesn't Mattel look at the average woman, the average girl, if in fact they, they want to have a good influence on young girls, why don't they look at what the average is and make a doll that is more appropriate or more a better representation for what these girls can, can really that's look like American when they get older. That's what American girl dolls are for. Well, would, that's kind of, well. Wouldn't you agree, like American girl dolls are a little more like realistic, like they each do their little thing. And, and Barbies are more. And Barbies are known for. Skinny. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. it's like the compliment, like you look like a Barbie doll. You know, it wouldn't be a Barbie I wonder, doll. Though, if after this many years and totally considering con considering everything that we know about girls and their body image issues and everything, why the leaders at Mattel don't finally take a stand and go, you know what, we're going to dispel this myth that, you know, this is the, per because the idea is that this is the perfect, this is the perfect girl. Barbie's perfect, right? Is that the thing? I think so. I mean, I, that's that what I've she's always just thought. Like California girl. It's why people say. I, I it's why think, people say she looks like she's a Barbie doll. I don't doll. think Bar. I don't think Mattel is going to change the way America sees the perfect woman. But I think movies and fashion magazines yeah. and all of that can change mm -hmm. the way because I don't think the average woman today is pencil thin. No, she's I mean, not. No, you know, it, not. I'll tell you one thing that. that that shocked me is, you know, over the weekend uh, when we were kind of out and about and, and really kind of looking at people, it, it just around in a crowd, Americans are, are overweight. I mean, we generally are overweight. Mm -hmm. And so that's the other flip side to the conversation mm -hmm. is, you know, there, there's that good average middle of the road and then there's there's kind of the extreme on both sides that whatever we can do to, to and, get and rid of those. And not, that's not being helped. The overweight yeah. issue is not being helped at all by the fact that now we're calling it a disease. Yeah. Well, it is a disease, isn't well, the, it? Uh, please, accepting two whoppers is not a disease. No, I'm saying being overweight is a disease. It, it now it's is officially. It's not a disease. It, it is a, it, they're not changing their choices. You're, the, the, you're the, 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 what, putting Susie, toxic things into your body, which Susie's are making you overweight, saying is that, so that, that the is AMA, a the it's AMA. It's because overeating, I don't think, is a disease. Stuffing a 64-ounce Coca-Cola down you and a whopper with bacon and all that, people that do that know it's fattening and they do it in Anyway. But that's a, that's a disease that they can't stop. Oh, please. Everything is a disease. We just can't stop it. Something just gonna, makes I me I kind of agree with you on really? this, Susie. I do. I kind of agree with you on this. And, oh, and the American yeah, Medical Association has now come out just recently in the last few weeks and said that obesity is a disease. And okay, I think, so then you yeah, are wrong. Well, I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> Let's not but call my obesity opinion. a disease. Let's call it disease of discipline. What about people alcoholism who, or drugs? That Is disease. that a disease? I think, well, if, when you start doing it, I think it becomes a disease. But you started it. If you made the choice to begin it, mm -hmm. it's about choices. But because then those it, bad choices that you make of what you're putting in your body, then they turn what's inside of your body, like you form diseases. Like That's okay, why people who are overweight are more known to have heart problems. That's why people that's are overweight right. are more and they have still high blood pressure. keep stuffing their face. So that's a disease that they can't realize. Oh, it's like a please. mental disease that they can't realize in their own head that they are damaging and killing what, themselves. Do you know what this is? This is the, calling things that are disease or giving excuses to people that it's not their decisions that's happening. It's that they just can't help themselves. They, well, they, they, have no they need help if they can't stop from eating and they just want to obese themselves here's to the point of just dis, like that they're making themselves sick. That here's, is a disease. Here's what's interesting you about agree? it. Here's what's interesting they about it. That's as we when they started, Courtney. But they, that's what I'm saying. So once, they, once they went over they made themselves 70 sick. pounds. Here's what's interesting as we compare it to something like alcoholism, where you are, you are addicted 
to that substance or drugs, you're addicted to that substance. Yes. There are many studies that say trans fats, partially hydrogenated anything, hydrogenated anything. That people are addicted to Is those. an addictive sub substance, just as addictive as crack. And there are many studies that, so that show that. that. So, so I would say that in, when we compare it to something like alcoholism and, 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 and that, if you have a true addiction to certain bad foods, I think think that's probably why the American Medical Association so has come out and said that this is a disease. So you think alcoholism is a disease, but you don't think obesity is a disease? I think to begin, I think once you, I, I, I don't know about alcoholism, but I can say this. I think, I think it's, it's a, a dependency. I think it's a dependency and a firm, a, a firm choice when you begin it. Mm -hmm. When you begin it, you have the choice to know. Yeah. I see parents in restaurants with children who are so overweight, mm -hmm. and the parents are so overweight, they're not saying no to French fries. Right. They're not saying no to anything. Which and I then think they is a lack of education and say, about well, you know, nutrition. it's just genetic. It's just genetic. Yeah, it's genetic because y'all don't ever eat anything. They, 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 it's just years and years of people eating bad food and then teaching their kids how to eat bad food, then they teach their kids how to eat bad food. And like, then the argument no is, is educated in how to. In other words, we're not responsible for anything anymore. It's somebody else's fault. And that's what yeah. that's what society is. No, I do. I do agree with you, Susie, that there are some fault. things that, that are dependencies and some things that are diseases. Uh, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, those are diseases. Alcoholism, right. chemical dependency, obesity, I think, are dependencies. I think it's a disease of the mind, though, because you're tarnishing yes. your I think body. I you have a dependency on yeah, something. Yeah, I agree with Because that. if you don't get it, you're jonesing for it. And, and that's, so, what, you know, so go, to, go to get some therapy. We need right. to go be saying, listen, Dr. Doctor Mancini, tell me why I'm eating so much. Mm -hmm. Help me with this problem. Yeah. <laughs>